Hi there, this is Jennifer with Rome Fields, and today is day 72 of our 100 days of knit stitches. And today's stitch is a lace stitch. I learned a new stitch with this one. I really enjoy this. Um, I'm using Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick Yarn, and I am using a size 11 knitting needle, which is, I've been using size 11 in most of my swatches so far, so I wanted to give this a try with my size 11 to see how lacy it came out without bumping it up to a 13 or 15. And I do really like it. If you want to create a looser stitch, then definitely uh, increase your uh, needle size. So I went ahead, you wanna cast on a multiples of six. I cast on eight, 18 stitches. Uh, this is a four row repeat, and it's very easy to memorize. Um, it is, Oh, a sequence of three stitches. So we're gonna knit our first three stitches. And then we're going to do, do a yarn over and then we're gonna do a double decrease. So we're gonna slip as if to knit, slip as if to knit, knit the third stitch. And then we're going to pass those two slipped stitch, stitches over that knitted stitch. So we took three stitches and made it down to one stitch. So we did a yarn over before and we're gonna do a yarn over after, so we still have three stitches. So we have six stitches there at the beginning. So that's our three or six stitch repeat. So then we just keep repeating those six stitches. So we're gonna knit three. One, two, three. Yarn over, slip, slip, knit, and then pass the two slipped stitches, stitches over, yarn over, and repeat. Knit to three, a yarn over, slip, slip, knit, pass the two slipped stitches over, and then we need to do a yarn over at the end because there should be a yarn over on either side of that double decrease. And when I yarn over at the end of my row, I do a backwards loop like that. So it's just easier. I think it looks better also. I've tried different ways and that's just the, the best way that works for me. All right, so on every even row, you're going to purl, just purl all your stitches. So you kind of want to bring all those yarn overs together. And you should always have your original number of stitches on your needles. So if you started with 18 like I did, when you get to the end of this row, okay, and then you need to be careful. So when you get to the end of the row, you wanna make sure you have 18 stitches. Sometimes that yarn over likes to be on the other side of that double decrease. So you need to make sure you knit a yarn over the double decrease and then another yarn over. So those two don't get swapped around. So there's a yarn over and see how that yarn over isn't quite over that double decrease. All right, now we are ready for row three, which is the same as row two, it's just offset. So the first stitch is gonna be a yarn over and I do it kind of backwards so that I make sure it stays on so we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna do a double decrease. Slip, slip, knit, pass, oops, pass the two slipped stitches over and yarn over. Knit one, two, three, yarn over, double decrease. Oops. Oh, I still got a little extra in there, and then yarn over, knit three, yarn over, double decrease, pass the slip stitches over, yarn over, and then knit three. And row four is the same as row two, you will just purl the back side and then you'll start over with row one. So it's a really easy pattern to remember. 
Uh, you could take it on the go. So that has everything that I could look for in a, in a pattern. I love it whenever they're easy to memorize. And I really like that lace stitch, it's very pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's stitch and I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.